In this video, I'm going to answer one of the viewers' questions, which is how to use Chart Destroy API and render a new chart in Chart.js. And this is a quite interesting topic and a quite advanced topic as well. And if we look at it, first of all, I want to show you where the question came from. It's one of my other videos, which is related to how to create a bar chart with a database which is a part of the Chart.js MySQL database series, which I highly recommend you to, to watch as well. It's a quite interesting uh, series covering many aspects of the database. All right, so in here, Ashish Pandi asked the following question. How to destroy chart before the canvas can be reused? I used to destroy the chart in Chart.js, but it's not working. All right, so he's tried it, but it doesn't work, and I'll tell you why. If you want to reuse it, you need to initiate it. And to initiate it, you need to work with the new structure in the Chart.js with the uh, documentation here. Once you do that, you basically have the answer of the initiation of it. I will cover one time a specific video covering these kind of things because once you destroy the chart, you need to re uh, initiate instead of rendering. Many people might say you need to render it. Well, no. Render will only work if the chart already exists. And render doesn't update the chart, by the way. So there are some differences in there. So what we need to do, we need to initiate because an initiation process will update and render the chart as well. So if that sounds very complicated, don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do here. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to break this into the three standard blocks that we consistently use. And I realize that maybe the, the term you have the render block should be maybe the initialization block. Oh, you will understand very quick. All right. So first of all, let's break this down. We have the uh, setup, the setup block. We have our config block, and we have our well render. Maybe I would call the init or the initialization block or init block. It's probably more the right term because right now what is happening is this. This is why you're having an error here is the following. Because if you would do here button, so let's let's create this and show you exactly what probably is what you're doing and what is the case here. I'll click equal and then let's say here we'll give this a function of destroy. So we will trigger this function destroy. All right, and then we say destroy chart. And then what we want to do is we want to render the chart again afterwards. So we say here a render the render chart. All right, so if I do this here and I'll make it our function and this function is basically the following. We say function, and then we say destroy. And then in here, we'll just say my chart, which is the chart ID name, dot destroy. All right, and then we have another one, which would be the render. And if you save this now, you'll get an error. Yeah. So let me show you. We destroy it, all right, that works fine. Nothing, no problem here. But then here we click on render and it says, sorry, we cannot read property get context, meaning it cannot read this part here. Because why? It has been destroyed because this here draws the chart with all of the data in here. So what we're going to do is convert it into the standard structure that we are now quite used to in the documentation. It's becoming more and more uh, common. So it's probably the best thing to learn to consistently do it like that and that's why I'm also doing this consistently here all right so what we're going to do is here the following we're going to get the data we say here the uh, constant data equals then here semi uh, or was it a semicolon and then here we're going to grab all of these here grab all of this between there between the data brackets curly braces so putting this here, once we have this, all right, we're done with the first one. The next one is the config, and the config consists of the three foundation parts of Chart.js, which, which is the type, the data, and the options. There might be more options that you want, more options, more things you want to put in there, but these are the core you use, and then maybe there are some parts within. Anyway, in here, constant. There is a config curly braces and semicolon then in here we just paste this on let's put it here the data here I'm going to remove all of this the, the uh, column and the 
curly braces. Why? Because this is our constant. As you can see here, that's this constant here. These are, and this is the reason why I'm following this structure. I assume if you have watched my other videos, you probably understand this. If not, this is very important to, to focus on this same structure. All right, so now we have this, and now we have the render or the initialization block. Basically, this is also the render. It will render or draw the chart, but this initialization is the very starting point of it. So what, what are we going to do in here? Well, same story, constant, my chart, which is our constant, equals, and then we say here, new chart. As you can see here, this part here, once we did that, semicolon at the end, enter, and here between, we're going to put in this part here. Basically, we say here, document dot get element by ID. What's the ID name? Well, you guess it, my chart. And then comma enter and we can use this as well stick it at the end but no need this is uh, in charge yes these days you can do it like this and then what we're going to put in here is the config constant here all right so we say this one and there we are so once we have this we can delete this and save so if i refresh here now everything works fine if i destroy all right and render doesn't work here all right what is the solution well basically what we have here Bob is our solution this here is the solution to it so we just can copy this and basically we will paste this one in here so we are going to render or basically it's not really render it's officially called initialize to init that's the real term to init it or initialize it so once we have this here exactly the same we've got that one we can save this here so let's put this here and let's put a Thanks, uh, indentation and a semicolon, semicolon, save this, refresh. Now you destroy it and now we re render or re render or initialize again. Destroy. Oh, I can see that there's some errors here. Let's double check what's going on. Destroy, render, and this doesn't work. All right, so let's figure out what's going on here a bit more. All right, so I just figured out it makes sense here because what was the issue? We have here constant, and then we are reassigning the same value of constant. This is not allowed, of course. So this was our issue. Change this to let. And we can change this as well to let. Or we can just even remove this. It doesn't matter. Save that. Refresh. Open up developer tab. See if we can get any. If we see any errors, destroy the chart. Run the, ch the chart. Destroy the chart and render the chart. So, all right, so this is very important. Make sure you use let, of course, because if you use constant, it's forbidden to use constant twice. Let, let is allowed to use multiple times. So that's the most important thing here. So basically here, this initialization block or render block is the part that's missing here. So you don't have to do here a reset or a render or an update, etc., etc. You need to follow on is the destroy. The destroy is separate and once you destroy it you need to initialize it. And initialize is basically starting completely from scratch compared to render. Render is not considered starting from scratch. Render is almost at the very end because you will just render or draw the chart without updating any values. So this is very important. I will be making a, a picture of this as well to understand it deeper but if you understand this part it's very very important. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.